glorious evening it is indeed. I am sitting in not the heart of the Lake District, but in the bottom end. <laughs> but we are staying at this amazing hotel. Like, wow. So not only does it have a gym that we've already used, which is the first gym we've used in, personally for me, maybe January. Um, there is a pool, booked that for tomorrow morning, very excited. We're going to a restaurant tonight, the menu looks amazing. And we are just in this beautiful little quiet area of the Lake District and it's just so peaceful. Like the sounds, the cascades, and like you've got that autumn crisp in the air in the evening. You can smell someone's fireplaces on and just the smell of the wood burning is just freaking delicious. <laughs> and not to mention, you can see the autumn leaves are changing, so it's definitely, definitely upon us. But I'm okay about that if you have beautiful moments like this. So this hotel here, it's quite a pleasant surprise for me. I'm loving that. Something about the Lake District, there's so much water here and resources that was used heavily for mills. Some of them date back from the Tudor period with Elizabeth Tudor and apparently this could have been a corn mill and run by a priory as well. What makes it so exciting for me is that this was a textiles mill and you can see why it's so important because you've got these cascades here so they would have moved all the machinery and really got a really strong force to move it and have a very hard factory and like it just looks like you know a mill <laughs> which is just fabulous and like there's so much of the stone inside and out i'm sure you'll see a little hallway with all this amazing stone and i'm sitting on some stone as well now some of my research into this mill saying it was a cotton mill, it was a wool mill, as I said, a corn mill. So this mill is very famous for one reason in particular. You know that delicious blue, ultramarine blue? Do you know how difficult it is to make natural blue dye? <laughs> this is why only wealthy people wore blue and purple. So there's a famous blue here called the Dolly Blue was actually fabricated here. So the pigment is what I'm saying. So that ultramarine pigment was made here, which is really amazing. I didn't know that existed until this evening. But in the meantime, I want you just to enjoy this relaxing holiday with me. It's gonna be wonderful. Now, the reason we've come up here is for one particular reason, paddle boarding. We absolutely love, 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 love paddle boarding. And I'm sure I've mentioned this earlier in the clip, but we're going to paddleboard many lakes. We've got four lakes we want to go to. We're going to do some hiking and get some beautiful, beautiful shots and experience nature that way. There's some amazing restaurants that I found about, and most importantly, we're going back to the bobbin mill. Yes, I'm so excited. So you'll get to see how bobbins are made, and that might be actually in a separate video, but we might put some clips in here. So, that all being said, let's just have a really relaxing couple days away in a different part of the UK and getting the last of the summer sun over the tea. Ha <laughs> ha 
From day two in the Lake District, we have finally made it to one of the lakes. We're at Derntwent Water, and we've been having a bit of technical issues with our paddleboard today. The girls, it just happened to them. So what happened was we have this valve here, and we were pumping it, and the valve just ex like it didn't explode, but like it sounds like an explosion. We had twisted it the wrong way apparently, and it just we had to repump it. So we're repumping this now because then it starts to zero, so it's a bit of a pain. But I'm very excited about this view. This is going to be awesome. We're at a place called Castle Rig, um, Stone Circle, and I've been here before, and it's still just impressive because this Stone Circle is amongst all this fantastic nature. Look at this! Look at this. It's like you walk up the hill and then you see this stone. Circle. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
Today. Yesterday was just atrocious with the rain. There was so much of it. Um, we just had a really nice, like, chilled, touristic day. And it's just so beautiful today. We're in such a beautiful spot. We're actually on Lake Windermere today. And we've come around the back way, so it was a bit horrific driving. <laughs> I did have to reverse a couple of times. Nearly, um, no, I didn't hit, nearly hit a pheasant. I had to kind of, like, wait for the pheasant to go as we were going up the steepest hill of all time. That was interesting. But we've come at this beautiful location. I see a couple of people on the paddle boards already. There's lots of blokes in the car park getting the paddle boards up. So it's a beautiful spot. And I cannot wait to enjoy the lake. I think we're going to be on lake all day to appreciate the sun while we have it. Oh my god, they're lunatics if they're doing this. Like, look at this.
day in the Lake District. We're at um, Yule's Water. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, dyslexia, but I'll definitely put the name here. But it looks stunning. We've got sunshine. So we're gonna have a very, very nice relaxing morning before heading back to London, which will probably be a six hour drive in the end. Well, well, but it'll be beautiful today. on um, Skull Island or Mermaid Island because Zara is doing her version of the Little Mermaid up there. It is such a gorgeous day and it couldn't be a more better day to say goodbye to the Lake District that's for sure and it's just been wonderful we've had such a lovely couple of days up here we've really taken in the sights I feel I really feel like we've gone to some really beautiful lakes there are so many more to see but we've just like kind of like touched the tip of the surface of the lake district of lakes so we'll definitely be here in summer because we want more of this beautiful sunshine but we've also seen the lake district at its gloomy and just really crisp fresh atmosphere so it's really fantastic so i really hope you enjoyed what this vlog was you learned a bit about paddle boarding you got to see some of the best sites to go to in the lake district and kind of like again just touch the surface but it's been wonderful so make sure you like this video because it really supports my channel also subscribe for more videos like this and also have a look at my instagram because the feed is looking lush so here comes our last mermaid around the corner and we'll see you on the flip side Bye.